Hey guys, it's Britt tonight. This is going to be a quick video, but I had some thoughts I needed to share regarding Without a Crystal Ball's live stream from tonight. If you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so this is not going to be one of my little sassy videos where, you know, we <clears throat> spill tea and all of that kind of stuff. Just when I thought that Katie Joy would, um, you know, she mentioned me once, it was somewhat cordial. She encouraged her audience to not watch my videos if they didn't like me. I was notified that she was live and she went ahead and mentioned me again. I thought that I drove this point home the other night, but I want to reiterate exactly what I said in that video because I refuse to be grouped in with a group of people on YouTube that are doing things that I am not doing on my channel. I think that that goes back to how Shane Dawson called the entire beauty community a circus. And I shared comments on that back in June when he did that and I disagreed with it. You cannot take a couple of bad apples and group them in with an entire community on the internet or in real life, wherever it is that you're discussing this, because it's not fair to the people that are not behaving badly or making poor decisions. That's just not how an adult makes decisions. So we're gonna listen to just a couple minutes of this. I'm not going to listen to the whole thing. I want you guys to hear exactly what she said. I'll give my explanation and then it'll be the end of the video because I am not going to do this tonight. I'm, you know, I, at first I wasn't even going to make this video, but if someone mentions me directly, then I feel like I have every right to respond to it in a you know, neutral manner, and you guys know what you're getting when I respond to stuff. I'm not here to fly off the handle or cuss someone out or call someone stupid. I'm here to give a quick explanation based on statements that were made regarding me. Everyone yelling at me about the number of videos I've made about certain people. How many videos have you made about me, Radiant Brit? Or how about you, Detox T? Or how about you, Lil Red? Or what about you, BX Beast Boy? How many videos have you guys made about me? I refuse to be lumped in with this group of people that she's talking about. Not only because I'm not doing the same things that they are doing, but like I said, it's unfair to group in. You know, that would be like me saying that Katie Joy makes all reality TV commentary channels look like shit. She doesn't. The actions that she's done on her channel and on the internet have made her a bad representation of what a YouTuber is. And I've said so many times before, when it comes to the quantity of videos that someone makes on any specific YouTuber, I don't focus on that as much as I focus on what's being said in those videos, what is the context of those videos, is there misinformation in the videos, and are they lying just to come out with additional content. So having X number of videos on someone, while some people might look at it and say, oh, that's crazy, it's the context of what's in the videos. And like we've discussed before on this channel, the fact that, you know, Katie did the 40 videos on Tati, while that seems like a large number, nobody's really that worried about making 40 videos on Tati because there are plenty of drama channels that have made 40 videos about Jeffree Star in a given year and a half or a year. There are other um, T channels that have made so many James Charles videos in a certain period of time, especially back during like Dramageddon and all of, all of these little dramas that have happened on YouTube, it's what's being said in the videos. No other drama channel is coming to their platform and saying Tati Westbrook's husband got rid of his mother for financial gain. Not a single soul, and if there was someone, I don't know about it, but I'm pretty sure that that would have come to the forefront at this point. 
Nobody else is digging into other family members, coming out with these outrageous claims when Katie wants to sit on her soapbox and say, I don't want people lying about me. While I completely agree, don't lie. If you have the receipts to come forth, come forth with it. Let's talk about it. Let's, you know, figure it out. I don't think that anyone should be coming out with just blatant lies just to make her look like a worse person because I think that there is enough out there that it can do the work for itself. So I don't agree with people lying and I also don't agree, like I said in the other video, I do not agree or support with anyone being doxxed, even if it's Katie Joy. But the fact that she wants to group me in with this other group of creators like T Detox, whose whole channel is dedicated to Katie, BX Beast Boy, who's done over 50 videos on Katie, talking about the same things time in and time out, making fun of her appearance, which I've never supported. If you are going to group me in with that group of people, I'm going to come onto my channel and let you guys know why I am not associated with any of those other channels. What I've done on my channel is completely different from any of those other creators mentioned. And while that's their journey, and that's fine, if that's what you want to do, go for it. But do not sit here and try to say that X number is too many videos. Nobody's really worried about the number. They're worried about the information that's in those videos. That's what's causing the issue for Katie. It's not the number of videos because if it was, Tati would have been knocking on several drama channels front doors before she went to Katie. It's the issue of the false allegations that were made and the amount of digging that she did, not on Tati, but on her family. At what point is it excessive <clears throat> for you guys, but it wasn't for me? The hypocrisy is so thick, it's disgusting. First of all, not a hypocrite. I do my best to never be a hypocrite. And if and when I am, I will come to you guys and I will say I was being a hypocrite in this scenario. Now, the fact that she is using this word right after she mentioned my channel name along with these other creators, I just think that it's almost comical that the most hypocritical person on YouTube that I've come across in the last year is all of a sudden calling other people's hypocrites other people hypocrites and what do we call that say it with me deflection so i'm not buying it i'm not subscribing to this oh you made so many videos like i don't even care how many videos you guys have made but your side your side of the like street should be clean before you start accusing another creator that's literally your competition and everyone says to me katie you're the only one that brings up the fact that they're competition well, that's because I'm the only one that's acting like a business person here that actually has a business attorney who has told me legally going after your competitors can actually get you in a lawsuit. Okay, first of all, don't know anything about her conversations that happened with her attorney, but I will say that her attorney has probably told her to do a lot of things that she has not listened to and completely ignored because any good attorney would have told her when she got that first, second, third, and fourth C&D from Tati, any attorney would have said, okay, let's pump the brakes. It's time to stop talking about this individual if they've given you four warnings. Secondly, I do not and will never consider her channel competition of mine. And I will also not consider any of the other channels competition of mine. You know who's my competition? Myself. I hold myself accountable. I'm always, con I'm consistently trying to do better than I did last week. I'm trying to do better than I did yesterday. And that will be the steady pattern on this channel. I will continue to better myself and I will continue to put out thought provoking content that is researched and full of information as I know it to be true. And as far as her saying that these other creators are her competition, I don't really look at them as her competition because 
at the end of the day, they're they're focused on her. So it's it's not really like, you know, BX Beast Boy talks about some other uh, YouTubers and stuff, as do I. But as far as the other channels that she's talking about, their content is pretty much solely based on Katie Joy and what she's doing or on Without a Crystal Ball and what uh, Katie's doing. When I think of a competitor, I would think of someone like Leslie Bass, who's covering a lot of the reality TV stuff that Katie covers. But even then, you know, to, to, claim, to claim someone is a direct competitor, they would have to be doing the same exact thing that you are doing. And we also saw what happened with Leslie and Katie when they had similar subscriber counts and they were covering the same thing. As far as considering someone else a competitor, it's always just a lot easier on your mental health and your well-being to consider yourself your only competitor because all of that energy, instead of focusing on what the person next to you is doing, you're able to harvest all of that and better your product, whether you're a business owner, a YouTuber, a makeup artist, you know, someone who's in business, rather than dispersing your energy and trying to make sure that the person, you know what the person next to you is up to. What is the benefit of all of these channels to go after me? What crimes have I actually committed? None. Now, as far as crimes that she's committed, I have never made those claims, so I don't know what she's talking about there. I have said before, I do think that some channels focus too much on every little thing that she does. And I think what's happening right now is because of some of those channels, she's focusing on anyone who discusses her. I said the other day, if she could have a moment of honesty with herself. I think that she would, you know, see my channel and see my critiques and realize that out of the bunch, in my personal opinion, I think that I've been very fair in my criticisms and I've never dragged her for her appearance and I've also never done multiple videos in a single day or you know five videos a week on her I said before that's a personal choice that I've made but on top of it she's not very interesting to me and I want to bring my subscribers something better than you know uh, for without a crystal ball videos every week here's my arrest none they want you to believe I've done these terrible things I haven't I've done none of them. What I actually committed? None. Where's my arrest? None. They want you to believe I've done these terrible things. I haven't. I've done none of them. Have I put out stories that have pissed people off? Sure. That's what everybody does. I don't really know if it's necessarily putting out stories that piss people off. I think that it's the information that's in those stories. It ties back to what I said earlier with you know, it, it's not the number of videos that you do, but it's the information within those videos that can get you into a lot of trouble because there are constantly going to be people reporting on topics that are touchy or sensitive or whatever. But if you're reporting on those topics and on top of it, adding in misinformation or not handling certain subjects with white gloves, that's where you can get into some really, really hot water. BX Beast Boy has made 56 videos about me. Hmm. Interesting. How much, how many does Radiant Brit have? I'm pretty sure probably just as many, right? Not in a million years, you wish. So I counted 23 videos that I have on Katie Joy in between July and up until, you know, a couple of days ago. Do I think that 56 is a large number? I do, but it's, I'm not going to keep repeating myself, but to say one last time, it's not so much the number, but it's the information that's within those videos that can be problematic. And I 
will stand firm that I don't agree with anyone making fun of her appearance. I don't agree with anyone um, making speculations about her child or her marriage. He, people who make comments on Katie on YouTube, like, like I do, I feel like me personally, there is a line in the sand that there, certain things are just off limits with her. So there are many things that I'll never talk about. And that's also why I cannot stand that I would just be lumped in with this group of creators who have done their content in a completely different manner than I have. So I'm not going to waste a whole bunch more time with you guys on this. I think that 99% of people know exactly where I stand. I will continue to stand in the same place that I am right now. My content will continue to be fair and honest and, you know, not accusing her of things that she hasn't done. I always look at, you know, either a video that was put out or an Instagram post or a tweet that was made. I just don't think that anyone needs to be making things up because, you know, I have, I've got a whole video on this coming, but when it comes to YouTubers, trust is gained in drops and lost in buckets on this platform with your subscribers. And I've known that from day one. So there's just no way that I would come out and make some shit up just to collect a little bit of AdSense revenue. Like my integrity is not worth the little AdSense check that I might get from coming out with a crazy video, nor do I ever believe that anyone should be lied on. So I did want to put this out for you guys. I hope that everything makes sense. If you ever feel like you are being unfairly grouped in with people that you don't associate with and you don't move like them and you don't talk like them, you have every right to be upset about that. Initially, I thought twice about making this video, but I do believe that I have a right to come out and say my piece because this to me is complete and utter bullshit that um, that she would try to just dump me in with these other creators who are not doing anything the way that I'm doing it. It's crazy. I, I will not stand for it. So I feel like at this point, Katie is backed into a corner and... You know, she's almost like a pissed off cat who is just attacking any and everyone who might be on her radar. And that's why I got dumped in with this group. But whatever, you guys, I'm tired and I want to take my makeup off because I have a piece of mascara in my eye. I can feel it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys liked it, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.